Today on this 2006 Chevy Uplander, we're going to be installing wiring harness part number 118396. Okay, the ports that we're going to be plugging our wiring harness into are located behind the taillight assemblies on both the driver's and passenger sides of the vehicle. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove both the taillight assemblies. To do that, we need to remove the inboard side screws that you can see once you've lifted up your cargo door. With those screws removed, if you gently rock the taillight assembly back and forth, you should be able to release the outboard side clips as well. If you look on the back side of it, you can see the port that we're going to be plugging our wiring harness into. Okay, to separate the two halves, there is a little release button on the top side. You just want to press that in and pull away from the taillight. Starting over here on the driver's side, the ports on our harness that we'll be plugging in line are the ones with the yellow and brown wires on them. And all we simply need to do is plug it in line between the vehicle side and the taillight. Before I connect to the taillight itself, I'm going to take the other parts of the harness, which include the four pole end and the passenger side connector, and we're going to drop them down through the opening in between the body and the bumper. With that accomplished, we can go ahead and put the taillight assembly back on the driver's side. From there, we'll continue back underneath the vehicle where we'll go ahead and route our wires across over to the passenger side. Okay, what we're going to do now that we're underneath the vehicle is we're going to actually use the fascia straps underneath the bumper here to feed our wire behind and that's going to help hold it up into place. And then the four pole end we're just going to take and tie off at the middle of the vehicle. On this application I'm just going to tie it off here at the trailer hitch. And then we'll take and feed the passenger side connector up through the opening in between the body and the bumper. A little trick that we'll use here is taking a light gauge piece of wire and go ahead and feed it from the top side down below and then we'll tape our passenger side connector to it and use it to pull it up into place. And also over here on the passenger side, you'll notice that we've got an extra white wire with a ring terminal on it. And this is our ground wire. We're gonna to need to secure it to the metal that's behind the tail light. And we're gonna do that using the provided self-tapping screw. And then finally, we'll make our connection back into the taillight housing and resecure the passenger side taillight. And then with everything connected, I'm just going to go back underneath the vehicle and check for any loose or hanging wires. And if you do have any, go ahead and tie those up and out of the way using the provided zip ties that come with the installation kit. And with that, that will conclude the installation of wiring harness, part number 118396 on a 2006 Chevy Uplander.